Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ken Castello and for today's video we got another sneaker to unbox But before anything else if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and Press the notification bell button for more updates and more videos in the future. Okay, so now that you have done subscribing to my channel Let's go ahead and see what is the sneaker that we're about to review today Okay guys, so the sneaker that we're about to review for today is Air Jordan 3 Retro and the colorway is called Desert Elephant. So stay tuned because we're going to open the box and see the actual shoes and review them. Here we go guys, this is the box of Air Jordan 3 Desert Elephant. The color of the shoe box is peach or comparable to a skin color. As you can see on the front side of the box, you'll see a symbol of an elephant combined with a primitive version of a Jumpman logo and the outcome is a man holding a basketball. And for the size of the shoes, I've ordered size 7 in the US or 25cm in Japan. And the most distinguished feature of this box is the animal skin pattern printed all over the box. Now let's go ahead and see the inside. You will see the same animal skin pattern printed on the shoe paper. Now let's go ahead and look at the shoe. And now that I'm holding this shoe on my hand, it makes me even more understand and appreciate the true beauty of this shoe. This Jordan tree is growing on me. And without further ado, let's look at the details of this shoe. Let's start with the outsole and you will see the usual track pattern of an Air Jordan 3 outsole. And the color combination is orange and beige. Now the midsole of the shoe is off-white and has a translucent air sole unit. While the foot frame is made of plastic and the color combination is white and black. I'm not so sure if you can actually see the quality of the leather from this camera angle. Therefore, later on guys, I'm going to use a macro lens to show you a closer view of some leather materials they've used for these Jordan shoes. If you can see the leather on the heel part which has the animal skin pattern, it's basically the same material they put on the corded edge of the shoe. However, due to its color brown, you can barely see the animal pattern on the leather. Let's go to the floater which is the black section of the shoe. So the floater is made of black tumbled leather and I wouldn't say it's actually a very smooth leather. However, I would say it's a very very thick leather. So the tongue of this shoe is color peach and it's made of suede leather. This is probably the best letter I've seen so far in these shoes and on the tip of the tongue you will see the Jumpman logo in orange color while the collar part of the shoe is also made of the same suede material. Now let's go to the sock lining part of the desert elephant. The color is actually peach and the material they've used for this section is actually a smooth fabric material to make it breathable and soft. Now let's have a look at the insole of the shoe. I'm just removing this cardboard paper on the inside. So the padding of the shoe is color peach and you can see the same logo that you found on the box of the shoe. I would say the padding of this shoe is soft enough to make your foot feel comfortable. Upon looking at the back of the padding, I have observed that there are some code written on the back and I don't know why it's written AJ11. However, let's move on. Probably Nike have recycled their padding of AJ11 for this one. Now let's look at the heel part of the shoe and you can see the Jumpman logo instead of Nike Air. And the reason for that is this model is not actually an OG colorway. So majority of the material they've used on the back of the shoe are made of rubber. And I almost forgot to mention that the back of the tongue is actually orange. Overall, this shoe is actually good and I would say that this shoe is actually way better in person than in the picture. Therefore, if you have plan of buying this shoe or you're hesitant to buy this shoe, I would highly recommend for you to look at them in person. Personally, at first I didn't like this shoe but now that it's in my hand, I actually like this one. And I would say this shoe is good to rock with jeans, joggers, and shorts. 
stay tuned guys because I'm about to show you a closer view of the letter using a macro lens of an iPhone 13. Now for this Air Jordan 3, I've realized that the reason why the cracking or the elephant print on the letter is not so obvious is because they have allowed the letter to have its own natural look or in other words more like a natural skin of an elephant. And now the black tumbled letter is looking good as you can see on the camera. And from this camera angle, I can clearly see how thick the leather they've used for this Jordan tree. And it gives the shoes a premium look. So the more I analyze about the Desert Elephant, the more I fall in love with it. It's just a wonderful shoes. So remember guys earlier when I mentioned that my most favorite part of the shoe is actually the tongue. Now you'll see the reason why. Just look at the quality of the suede leather here. Well, let me know what you think about the quality of the letter of the Desert Elephant. Let me know what's your impression about this Desert Elephant on the comment section. So that's it guys, thank you very much for watching this video and if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you next time on my next video.